everyone. Welcome back again to another Thai lesson with me and my family now. Yay! Okay, as you guys can see now, our topic today is Yearful Travel Fest in Thai. Even now, the situ um the COVID situation now in Thailand is quite bad, but I think you still can learn this kind of phase. So when you have time or when you have a chance to visit Thailand, you can use them. All right, let's get start with the first one. Oh, I forget to mention this one is the part two. Don't forget to go back and watch the part one from Anchisa from last week. Okay, let's get start from how to order food in Thai. I think you guys know that Thai food is really good. If some of you have been in Thailand before, you definitely have to try Thai food. It's kind of like flavorful and tasty. If you never try Thai food before, don't forget to come here in Thailand and try some Thai food. Okay, I will start with how to asking for the menu. We can say "ขอดูเมนูค่ะ or "ขอดูเมนูครับ So for the word "ค่ะ and ครับ I have thought about this in the very first video. I will put the link here. Don't forget to go back and watch them if you don't know how to use them. So this sentence mean "Can I have menu, please?" And the next one, if you are foreigner, you can say. ขอเมนูภาษาอังกฤษได้ไหมคะขอเมนูภาษาอังกฤษได้ไหมครับ That mean can I have a menu in English, please? But just keep in mind that not all restaurant have the English version menu. So normally, if you go to a really local Thai restaurant, they will not have the English version for sure. But if you go to A bit fancy, less wrong. They will definitely have the English version. And here the list of some of the Thai dishes. Let's start with the first one. Pad Thai, Pad Thai, Pad Thai is kind of like stir fry noodle. And I think most of you guys might know this. Um, this one is the very popular one. And the next one is som tam, som tam. It's the papaya salad. It's my favorite as well. I think this one is also the famous one. The next pad ka pao, pad ka pao. It means stir fry pork with holy basil. Actually, it can stir fry with every kind of meat, seafood, chicken, beef, and the next one khao soy. Cow soy. Um, this one is also noodle with the coconut curry. It kind of like northern Thai food. The next one, pad siu, pad siu, is noodle stir fry with soy sauce. Next one, tom yam gung, tom yam gung. It the spicy prawn soup. The last one, cow man gai. Cow man gai. It's the boiled chicken with rice, and it will come with some sauce. Here, sentence to our um to ask for a specific dish. For example, ขอโทษค่ะมีข้าวเหนียวไหมขอโทษค่ะมีข้าวเหนียวไหม It means excuse me, do you have a sticky rice? Normally, Thai people will eat sticky rice with som tam. It's a great combination. The next one. Um, it's Thai poor here. Sorry, no this word. So you can say, ฉันเอาผัดซีอิ๊วค่ะ or ฉันเอาผัดซีอิ๊วครับ And I would like to order noodles stir fry with soy sauce. And here is the pad s i u look like. Next, Thai drinks. Let's move on. Okay, so here's some common Thai drinks. So first one, cha, cha, is tea. c a f e c a f e is coffee. Nom, 
นมอิสมิลค์น้ำมะพร้าวน้ำมะพร้าวคูคอนาจิสน้ำผลไม้น้ำผลไม้ฟรุตจิสโอเลียงโอเลียง is Thai iced coffee is kind of like Americano coffee next one นมเย็นนมเย็น it ice with um with syrup it will will be like the pink color is really sweet if you like sweet you will like this one and here is how to ordering drinks in Thai for example ขอน้ำหนึ่งแก้วได้ไหมคะขอน้ำหนึ่งแก้วได้ไหมครับ It means may I have a glass of water Okay and the next one ขอเบียร์หนึ่งขวดค่ะขอเบียร์หนึ่งขวดครับ I would like to have a bottle of beer And here the vocabulary about the flavors in Thai. Let's start with the first one. Kem, kem, it's salty. Wan, wan, it's sweet. Pet, pet, spicy. Khom, khom, bitter. Pleo, pleo, sour. So and here's how to put them in the sentence. Like you want it to a bit spicy, you can say "nit noi." For example, "pet nit noi," "pet nit noi," and the next one, "very," it means "mak," "mak." For example, "piao mak," "piao mak," it means very sour. One more thing. In Thai, if you say "my pet," "my pet" is mean not spicy. Sometimes people still put some spicy in your food, so you can just say "my say pig," "my say pig." So that means I don't want any chili at all. The next one, eating out. It's the vocabulary and sentence about eating out. Okay. Let's start with the first one. ฉันจองโต๊ะไว้แล้วค่ะฉันจองโต๊ะไว้แล้วครับ I have already reserved a table. Next, มีอาหารแนะนำไหมคะมีอาหารแนะนำไหมครับ What dishes do you recommend? And after you already finish the food, you can say with your friend, ฉันอิ่มแล้วฉันอิ่มแล้ว That means I'm full. And if you want to pay, you can say, "เก็บเงินด้วยค่ะเก็บเงินด้วยครับ May I have the bill? And that's all for today. And I hope you guys will get something from our videos. And before we go, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like in this video, or leave some comment below if you have any question or suggestion. We will try to improve our videos for sure. And thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.